channel DB Designs and Sewing Australia. Today we're going to take a look at my coat collection. First of all, what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a toile that I made in the Pixie Dress by Stylark. I wanted to make this dress up for the secret garden fabric I got from the Dahlia Society in the bespoke box last month. And I wanted to try it out, so I had a bit of rayon there, so I decided to make it in that. It actually turned out to look so good that I finished it off, and it is actually a really perfect fit. I did not have enough rayon to put a flounce on the sleeve or to put a flounce on the hem, so I just cut the sleeve straight, and on the hem, I created a pleated effect, which I sewed on just with a strip of fabric. First of all, I have 15 ready-to-wear coats and eight me-made coats. I will have to keep on referring to my notes as I don't know everything off by heart. So, first of all, we've got a green puffer jacket, and I will put it over here in front of me because I'm going to insert photos, if I can do it, into this side where I modeled what I was wearing it with. And with this green puffer jacket, I had on um, black ready-to-wear jeans and a black turtleneck jumper, which is the Trudy turtleneck um, by Wardrobe by Me. And I buy that merino wool fabric from the fabric shop in Melbourne. It is a New Zealand merino wool, but I buy it from that shop. Next I have, next I have my sleeveless quilted jacket. Now this jacket is actually quite too big and as you can see it's gone pilly on the sides. It has a stretchy part. And I was thinking that I might take that out and put a narrower piece in to make it a bit more fitted. But it's actually a wonderful, very comfortable sleeveless coat. I am wearing that with the black ready-to-wear jeans and a teal-coloured poly wool Trudy turtleneck, which is the twile turtleneck I made before I made up that pattern. I didn't want to cut into the merino wool. And I managed to get um, the piece of teal wool poly from Pit Trading one night as, as an offcut. I think I only got 80 centimetres. And I managed to get the jumper out of that and... I've actually worn it quite a bit and it's very, very warm. And I got that piece of fabric for $6. So I thought that was a good bargain for a toile. Next, I have my black puffer jacket. Now this is a Mac jacket. And it's actually called a Mac in a sack because the whole thing screws up and goes into this little sack. So it's great for going away. I actually bought this in Warrnambool when we were there in February, March one year, and it was absolutely freezing and I didn't have a coat. So I bought this coat and I am wearing this with the black ready to, to wear jeans and the Trudy turtleneck. Next I've got my regatta um, ready to wear jacket. It's actually a stretch poly cotton and it's, I've had this jacket for years and years and it is so comfortable. And when I haven't got any of my work jackets, so I have wear a uniform ready to wear, I will wear this jacket to work. It's really warm and very comfortable. It's actually just a slim fitting jacket that fits really well. I'm wearing that with my ginger jeans and a navy blue turtleneck in that same merino fabric from the fabric store. Next is a black denim jacket. And this is actually very handy. You can wear it over a dress as well. I'm wearing that with my ginger jeans and a magenta colored um, Trudy turtleneck, all in the merino wool.
Next is a denim jacket. This one actually fits me. The other one I had was too big and it's in my special projects box. Three quarters pulled apart so that I can make that special purple dyed overcoat. And I am wearing this with the knee-hard dress by Seamwork. And that dress is in a black ponty. I think the dress is now called the Lenny dress. I don't know if it changed its name. Um, and check out those boots I'm wearing. Those boots are just gorgeous. Next is the pink cord jacket. All in that same denim style jacket look. And I am wearing these with a shorter style polo neck. Well, it's sort of a crew polo neck. It doesn't have a turn down in a white wool that I have no idea where I got it from. Obviously, I didn't have very much of it because it's sleeveless and it's not very long. But it's actually a really nice jumper, but I would never wear it without a jacket over the top or a coat over the top. Um, and uh, some light coloured ready to wear jeans. Next is a navy blue, very lightweight linen crop jacket in that jean style jacket again. Um, I often wear this over a dress. In the photos, I'm wearing this over uh, the same thing I had on the last photo. So the white jumper and the light colored ready to wear jeans, but it is quite a, you can see that you can see through it, quite a lightweight linen, so it's nice for summer. Next is a white denim look jacket, and this is actually in a tensile. You can see that it's got much more of a sheen on it than the other ones. And I am wearing this with the Armadale dress by Stylark in a rayon from Spotlight. I actually made that two years ago. But um, it's a very nice jacket to wear over things in the summertime. Next is a white ready to wear double breasted blazer. I've had this for some years and it's linen so it looks like it's been under the bed. Um, and I'm wearing this with the navy Trudy turtleneck jumper and the lander pants in a blue, blue and white striped denim is quite heavy, but I find them to be very, very warm. Now, because I also have the tensile coat jacket, um, I was thinking I might put some sort of decoration onto this plain jacket. I, I was thinking I might hand paint it, but now I'm thinking I might make some like tulle flowers or some sort of lightweight flowers and sew them on it and then just draw stems on. I won't be using the fabric textures I bought because I paid a lot of money for them and they really don't work very well at all. So my recommendation would be don't waste your money. And next I have a pink linen blazer. This is also a double breasted blazer. I've had this for a couple of years and I'm wearing this with a dress that I made three years ago to wear to um, one of my nephew's weddings. And this wedding was at the beginning of March and so it was quite hot. So I never wore the jacket at all. I just wore the sleeveless dress. But what I did notice is I haven't put that dress on for a few years and my body shape has completely changed or I've got a different bra on or something's happening because it really was way too big in the top half. But this is a very handy jacket just to pop over a dress or a pair of summer pants. Next, I have a blue wool ready to wear jacket. Now, every time I look at this jacket, it just screams Sergeant Peppers to me. So it obviously reminds me of the Beatles. I don't know why. Um, it is a little bit on the large-ish side. I have looked at how I could take it in, but I wondered if I should just give it away. Um, I do wear it some of the times, and I'm wearing it with ginger jeans, 
and a gold and a navy and gold spotted ready to wear blouse. Next, I have a quite long knit duster. I actually wear this a great deal of the time. One of my sisters gave this to me for a present and I'll often wear it over jeans and the polo neck jumper. In this photo, I've got it teamed, oh yes, with the black turtleneck and the ginger jeans. Remember the ginger jeans, the ones I didn't know if I liked? Wear them all the time, so I must like them. But this is a very handy jacket. Still got fluff on it, I can see, so. And the next jacket is another duster coat. It has the fold up sleeves. You can either fold them up or just pull it up and button or these tabs are not longer than the sleeve. So if you take it down, you cannot see the tabs sticking out from the bottom if you want it to be a little bit warmer. Um, this is a taupe color and I've got it on with a white ready to wear t-shirt and the white ash jeans. I've actually got a, a pair of light colored taupe linen pants and a white and taupe spotted top that I also wear it over. It's actually really handy. I bought it when we, in South Australia, I think, when we were there on a trip. And now for the best coat ever. It is absolutely fantastic, this coat. It is really, really big, really big on me. Yeah, it says it's a size 12, but there's no way. It's like a size 18. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so in love with this. I wish I could buy this type of fabric but I can't, and it's not hand painted because I've checked inside the pockets. If it was hand painted, it wouldn't be painted inside the pockets. So I really wish I could get my hands on some of the, the faces fabric. And I've looked at having different ones printed, but by spoon flower, but it's really not the type of fabric that I wanted it to be. And it's really not the exact images that I wanted. So I will keep on looking. But if anybody knows anywhere you can get this type of fabric from, please let me know because this is what I love doing. I love making wearable art. And so that's me. And now we have... This is my first, the first one that's a me made. All the others are ready to wear. This is a me made and it's a teal cardigan. It's actually a cable knit and I bought this fabric at Spotlight. And first of all, I had made it into a, um, into a jumper. So I made a funnel neck jumper out of the Neha pattern or Nina pattern, N-E-E-N-A-H by Seamwork. And then I decided that I was not getting enough wear out of it. So I changed it into a cardigan. I just cut the funnel off, cut it up the top, grayed it out so it was a bit more cardigan looking and found some really cool buttons. They're all different buttons, all different patterns on the buttons. And I actually wear this quite a bit. I'm wearing this with a black turtleneck jumper and the ginger jeans. And this is my teddy bear coat. So I call this a teddy bear coat because when I was a child, that's what color my teddy bear was. So this is a beautiful coat made in faux fur. And I think I bought that faux fur from Spotlight and I have worn this to death. I think I made it last winter and I have worn it so much. It's got a beautiful satin lining. It's really warm. It has no closures on it, but you don't really need it. It crosses over enough. And when it's really cold, you can just wrap it up around your neck like that. I usually wear scarves as well, I'm a scarf wearer. And I just love this coat. It's just beautiful. I don't know how you wash it or anything else. 
I've always just wiped it with a face cloth, a wet face cloth and then let it dry and actually um, brushed it with a bristled clothes brush to try to bring the pile back up. Um, I've actually got another lot of this fabric in a denim blue color that I think I showed you the other day when we were going through um, my sewing room and I'm not sure whether I should be making the I think it's called in the old days we called it car length so the ones that just go to your hip the length that just goes to your hip or if I should make a long one like this and this is actually a McCall's pattern 7847 and I made view C which is the longest one so this is the pattern envelope and you can see view C down the very bottom is the one that I made and the one that the model is wearing is what I would call a car coat length and the other one at the top is the short length I don't think I'd make the short length I'm not sure whether to make the car length or to make another really nice long one because they're so warm and with the leftover fabric from this I'm making two of my granddaughter's vests um, they want to sew a sleeveless coat basically but I will have to put some sort of closure on it because otherwise it's going to fall off them when they run so that's what I'll be doing I'm actually wearing that with the magenta polo neck jumper and the lander pants in a very lightweight denim I actually wear those lander pants quite a bit the denim is is not a heavy denim and um I really like the lander pants. They're very, very comfortable. I don't think they're terribly flattering for someone that has, you know, uh, quite a small hip measurement compared to their waist measurement. Not much difference between my waist and my hips. And I don't think that a wide leg pant is all that flattering, but they're very comfortable. And next I have a fitted silk Dupony jacket that I made. Now, I only had one meter of fabric. So as you can tell, the sleeves are very, very narrow. They've got a little self-covered button on it. And with the self-covered buttons, you might remember I told you before that I get my buttons professionally covered. This was before I got my buttons professionally covered. And one of the reasons I wanted them covered was because like they'll stay on, but they're white. And I really wanted it to be either the silver or black in the back of it. Now I wear this with, I think I've got on black ready to wear, uh, ready to wear pants and a, um, a black rayon tank top that I made out of this rayon fabric. And for the life of me, I have no idea what pattern I use for that tank top. It's just, I don't know if I cut it off another one, just made it up. Um, but it's, uh, I really just wear a tank top to go under things. It doesn't really matter that much. But I just love this fabric colour so much. It's just beautiful. Next, I've got the Brooklyn coat. Uh, the Brooklyn coat is by Tasudi Fabrics. And, I've got a, and it doesn't have a closure. So I actually have a brooch that you can put anywhere on there. Scrooby little eye brooch. And... I really like the pattern and it's got quirky little back pockets but I bought this fabric as a boiled wool from super cheap fabrics I think they're in Western Australia but it's not a true boiled wool because it frays on the edges so as you can see this is frayed and even when you cut it perfectly and I cut it with a rotary cutter and I keep trimming it off and I'm not sure if I should put a binding around all the edges or if I should just leave it a bit raggedy as a look but I was disappointed with the fabric but I really like the pattern I think it's a lovely pattern and it's quite quirky with those back pockets like the backs of jeans
I'm wearing this with the black polo and the ginger jeans. It's a nice throw on coat. The fabric's actually quite warm. It's just disappointing and you can even see here where it's frayed and I just don't know if I'm a frayed person because I like to press the living daylights out of everything and make all the edges so sharp that I was a bit disappointed with the fabric. But the pattern is great. And next I have my Nova coat that you could that I showed everyone when I was making it up with the beautiful lining. This fabric's lovely. But if you're going to make it, remember that this is a size six. And I would usually make a 12 or a 14 at least. So the sizing is very, very big, as you can see from the inserted photo. Um, it is actually really, really big. And you might remember that we I used the clover pins to make sure that those four pieces all met exactly. Well worth doing. You can also do it under the arms of anything, but I never really worry whoops, with the clover pins too much in the underarms of things because you don't really see the underarms. So I'm wearing this with a black polo and the ginger jeans again. Next, I have my Parker coat. Now the Parker coat, a lot of, a lot of you will have already made the Parker coat. I made this a few years ago. Um, it's a style arc pattern, lovely pattern, and it's made of Ponty. So it's very, very comfortable. Um, unfortunately, the facings come out all the time. Now these facings are stitched to the shoulder seam. Everywhere you can stitch it invisibly, they are stitched. But when you put it on, you have to keep on tucking the facings in um, every time you put it on, which is not ideal for a coat because you will often take a coat on and off. If it's a shirt and you're just putting it on once and you need to tuck the facings down, well, that's fine. But when it's a coat, not so good. But I do actually wear this quite a bit. You can see it's even shiny from being pressed and I do press with the cloth. And, and I am wearing this with a magenta polo and the lander pants and a groovy scarf. The next is my oversized Marlowe vest hack. So I call this a coat because it's just about as big as a coat. Um, I really could have sized down in this, but I quite like it and it's got really these are some buttons I had that I, I had cut off something else. And so you can see those buttons. Um, it gives it, it's quite a grandpa look. That's the sort of look that I think it is. I actually wear this a fair bit. I really do like sleeveless coats. Might have to think about more vest type of coats. I'm wearing this with a black polo and ginger jeans and I wear it quite a bit. And last but not least is a jacket and matching skirt and top. So here we have the skirt. And this is actually a, a slight stretch in this wool. And the skirt pattern, I think it had a zip in it. She didn't need a zip at all because you could just pull it on, especially if you've got narrower hips and easily get it on. So that's the skirt part of it, as you can see in the photo. And I absolutely love the t-shirt that comes with this. It has, they look like they're three quarter sleeves, but they actually just go down to the edge of your elbow. And it's a really nicely fitting uh, t-shirt. And this is a pattern that is a new look pattern. So, it's new look 6481 and I actually got the idea from this from Viv Mum Sews. I don't know if any of you watch her channel. She's really quite funny and she had made this suit in a similar fabric. I don't think her fabric had any stretch in it and it just looked so smart. As you can see, it's lower at the back than it is at the front 
and so it sort of just comes around and curves down to the front it has no closure but for very good things I wear this so that was just a quick run through of all my coats and jackets and dusters but speaking of coats has anybody seen uh, Lauren Guthrie's autumn window she's got um, a YouTube video out and it's about the autumn window for her shop and she is wearing the Megan Nielsa I think it's a Hoover coat uh, oh, sorry jacket and it's quilted it is absolutely divine I've certainly got that on my list for next year I will have to quilt all the fabric but then my sister's got a quilting machine so maybe she'll quilt the fabric for me but it's absolutely lovely so check that window out because she's got a lot of lovely stuff in navy and navy is a color that i wear 